My character, Emma Cullen, she suffers a great loss and she takes matters into her own hands to ensure that she stops this man, Bartholomew Bogue, from victimizing her town. And what I really loved about um, this character is that while well, women are sometimes um, objectified and submissive and victimized, and this character, Emma, she, she defies all of those stereotypes. So I really, I really was excited to get to portray a strong woman like this. Firstly, you have to learn how to ride a horse, which I did not know how to do that before this, and you needed to be familiar with guns. Uh, even, th I think that's something that's really exciting for the men because they get off on that and there's all that testosterone pumping, but I think it was even more exciting for me because it's a really powerful image, a woman taking the bull by the horns. And I read a lot of different uh, books about the history of pioneer women. And they were very tough. They were very tough women because a lot of times the men would go off for long bouts of time and the woman would have to stay behind and take care of the homestead and she needed to be able to protect herself. So I worked with Thel who is a legend and he is a real gunslinger and we worked three four times a week and I would just it gave me such a thrill to 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 harness the power of something that is deadly working with Denzel every take is different and he I think the challenge is, is he keeps you on your toes and he is constantly surprising us in scenes and so you, it challenges you to be very present and I think that helps you as an actor to grow. Um, so I, I really, I, I enjoy working with, with Denzel and learning new things. Antoine definitely challenged me in many different ways and I was boxing every day and trying to uh, trying to really find the anger and the grit that this character required and it was really fun to explore that side of myself and to do it with Antoine and Denzel, and it was just a very comfortable, um, familiar feeling on set. Did you know that Dwayne Johnson was Tim Burton's second choice for the role of Willy Wonka in Charlie and the Chocolate Factory, which went to Johnny Depp? Do they seriously look alike according to Burton? Who do you prefer as an actor, Depp or The Rock? Let me know in the comments below and don't forget to click here for more videos. Thanks for watching.